Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So today I'm checking out the new Builder Editor software from Decentraland. Decentraland is a blockchain kind of version of Second Life, one way of putting it at least. It's been around for a couple of years in various forms. They've been slowly building out their different technology um, and now hoping to launch uh, kind of mid-2019. So we're starting to see the kind of more of this software coming out like this new Builder software. The point of Decentraland is it's a decentralized um, kind of universe, metaverse, if you want to put it that way, where lots of things can happen inside. So there's been developers building stuff already within Decentraland. So they, they had a, a, a land sale that you know, people could start owning land and then start building during 2018. And now this kind of uh, this, this builder software has come out to make it a bit more accessible to, to everyone. So there's this, um, this is it, this isn't actually connected to, to Decentraland at the moment. So this is like a, a competition. Um, so you, you can s submit your scene and earn a share of this uh, prize. So this mana is the ERC20 token, then land is the ERC721 uh, uh, non-fungible token. Um, and you can choose your template here. So I, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, as you'll see, uh, but it is really easy to kind of pick up and start messing around with this with this. Um, Builder software, so it only works on desktop at the moment, by the way. So let's click in um, and see what I've been building. So we can see here it's just a simple um, single grid. Um, so how it works is I'll try and navigate. Probably the camera angles go a bit wonky because I'm not really good at this, but um, you can see how you choose a ground a ground plate, uh, and then there's different tiles you can choose. So I've got grass ground plate, but I could if I wanted to. Do, Build a bit, a little bit of a sand area. I could just kind of connect these things together and build like a little bit of sand there. Um, and you see, when I drop them in, it's giving me the option to uh, to rotate them, which I struggle with a little bit. So, not doing, not trying, not to do that. You can be a bit neater if you want to, like that. Oh. So you see, it all basically all lines up on grids, like a grid system. Um, there's other things you can do. So you've got nature. So you can see, I'm kind of going for a, like oriental garden kind of kind of setup. Um, you can drop different uh, pineapple for some reason. You know, drop different types of trees. Palm tree wouldn't really work. Could have a pond. Drop a pond in there. So I just drop it down there, and I get a pond. That's quite nice. Uh, uh, more trees. Uh, we've got structures. So I could build a wall. <coughs> I have ladders for some reason, or a obelisk, or a, no, whatever that is. A fountain, a rustic lamp, <coughs> some swings. Uh, and actually, what I do want is um, a fire. So there's a fire in here. So I can probably put that campfire. Put that on my sand. Doesn't look so good because the. Uh, because the uh, it's all s a bit too square, isn't it? For a oh, okay, I'm on. so I probably need to work on that, make that look a bit more interesting. If I was going to submit this, which I'm not, um, what else? And then we've got all this, um, got all this Chinese, uh, the Chinese theme stuff for the Year of the Pig. So we can see here, I've got my um, big lion and you have a golden pig statue, and yeah, a gong, all that sort of stuff. Oh, I've, yeah, double clicked on it. And it's just gong's gone in there. So uh, probably don't want a gong. It's a bit big actually. I'm getting looking a bit crowded. And then the other interesting thing to note down here is there's too many triangles. So you have a limit of ten thousand triangles. So that gong is too many triangles. So we'll get rid of that one. Um, so that's kind of that's what you do. So you kind of build this out, mess around, move things around, try and get the kind of right aesthetic for what you want. Um, probably don't want that in there, um, but I, it's not great, not looking great. It probably needs to do something better with that bridge. Maybe rotate it the other way, but then it's going to clash with that. Anyway, um, you get the idea of what's going on here. It's pretty simple to use, because I can do it. And then what's really nice is you can go in and you can preview it. So if I get the camera right, so just using kind of the keys, I can kind of walk around and get an idea about it, what it looks like. There's my pond, and go, oh, walk over the bridge, so probably need to, you know, it's not too bad, but um, I also need to line that up. Um, maybe my, should have my bridge the other way round, and I can kind of walk around here, around over the bridge that way, and then there's the, the fire and the pond being some sort of yin and yang type. You get, you get the idea. 
Anyway, so I'm really enjoying playing around with this. I will not be submitting uh, this particular uh, beauty, but I will be uh, attempting to do something a bit better. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it as well. Well worth checking it out. And as I say, Decentraland, I uh, expect quite a lot from, from them this year, given that they have had a lot of support already and given that they're you know quite um, consumer facing and they're doing this really nice kind of kind of drag and drop uh, kind of kind of software that people can get to grips with this stuff easily which is not the case for all for all user generated content systems some of them um, are much more complicated than this so it'd be interesting to see uh, whether this gets picked up or how many how, how many people kind of pick it up and obviously I imagine there'll be some absolutely amazing creations uh, that come out of the competition so thanks for watching the video um, this is blockchain gaming world um, where we're just into blockchain games and uh, just interested in playing them, interested in kind of finding out where they're going and messing around with bits of software and that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe. But thanks for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.